Carro. Hello everybody, it's Guiding Halo here. This is going to be your reading for Sagittarius and it's what Spirit wants you to know throughout March, okay? So let's see what's happening, what's going on. First card in the middle here, which your reading centers around is your soul name, card number one. So let's read that. Unlock the mysteries of your soul. You are about to receive the name of your soul. Your soul name acts as a link between your inner and outer worlds, enabling you to merge authentic wisdom into your everyday experience and to create a life for your, from your heart. You placed your soul name in your heart before you were born. As you explore your inner world and open your heart, you will discover the name of your beautiful essence. You are ready to awaken your heart and to know its absolute fullness you are safe to discover, connect, and receive. All your dreams and desires will be released when an, with an open heart. Ask for, ask for and be open to receiving the name of your soul. It may arrive in the way you don't expect, but when it comes, you will know it is authentic by the way it feels. Liberate your heart and soul. You are worth it. Beautiful. So it's something here about wisdom. Maybe your soul name is wisdom. I don't know. Let's read this card number. I don't know. Wisdom. Beautiful card. Look at that mermaid in the ocean. Depths of the sea. The surface of the sea can be choppy and turbulent, but when we sink down into the depths, our surroundings are completely different. Often there is a stillness below. In other cases, the surface of the sea might be placid. Yet down in the liquid blue are a myriad of creatures and a variety of seaweeds. A vast community of creature is eating, mating, giving birth, and dying. What we see on the sea surface has very little to do with what is occurring now. The sacred landscape wants you to know things are not as they seem. Look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you are making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface things are not happening. I'm sorry, you may feel like you're not making progress yeah, on a particular project, yet beneath the surface things are happening. Or you might be going through a stormy cycle. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place all is well and serenity and peace are emerging. Things that may seem challenging will later be revealed to have been beneficial. So it's about using your wisdom in a way to understand that if things are chaotic in the up here right in your face way, then chances are things are going well beneath the surface. I trust that my powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become my reality. So what are we envisioning into reality? Taking control of a situation, possibly a situation with the boss, judge, CEO. My powerful intentions combined with my faith are enough to allow my vision to become a reality. Maybe you want to become your own boss holding on to money tightly. Perhaps you'd like to own your own home. Hmm. Someone's taking control of a situation and holding on tightly to it. And it's about powerful intentions combined with your faith are enough to allow the vision to become a reality. Someone might want to buy a house. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. When I cultivate a spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what. So what is it that we're doing where we need to trust the universe? Building a stable, solid foundation. Something to do with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, masculine energy. Oh, someone could be getting married. 
or wanting to buy a home and there's a celebration, housewarming party maybe. When I cultivate the spiritual, spiritual connection, I can trust the universe no matter what to have your back in this new home as well. What's this wisdom card about here, please, with the tarot? Tell me what's going on with this wisdom card here. So a children or a soulmate is creating some depth with their emotions or depths in the in your life that you need to you know dive through it could be a leo and there is a very happy outcome here but there's something about you or them learning to be very independent brand new starts a wish granted and the opportunity to buckle down and get the work done so asking about your soul name, is it so you can stand in your power, you feel? So you can head forward with a trajectory you might not have thought of previously and somehow putting a name to your soul or what it is you're going to do actually creates this beautiful trajectory. And an ingenious idea comes to you about this whole new start. It's about working, creating, is the wish granted right in between how it is you communicate it. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Not afraid to be free. Perhaps the challenging information is that in order to do this, you might not be able to be as free. My fearless freedom lights up the world. Tell me about this, please. So you want freedom to create all the beauty you want to create, but yet there's some sort of soul contract or a soul or work contract or something that might be holding you back because you want this freedom to light up the world. Perhaps there's a lover or somebody in your life who you'd like to join with so that you can create this freedom, light up the world together. Well, the divine might be taking you on that trajectory because it seems to me they're making a decision about that. Something you thought was dead and gone in your world may be coming back for a revisit. Perhaps your fearless freedom that you now have is drawing this person's energy back, not to have a relationship with you, but to get some energy from you to feel like, wow, you're lighting up the world. How are you doing this? Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is of the highest good. Yeah, trying to balance emotional turmoil with money. And this whole heart chakra thing is being missed in the process. It's divinely guided you do. That's why we've got the infinity symbol here, but someone's juggling a lot. The divine's keeping everything going together here, nonetheless. But boy, do you have a lot going on. Lack of clarity about how to move forward. So, thank you, universe, for helping me to see beyond the limits of fear, the juggling, the juggling act. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see of what is the highest good. There's things going on behind the scenes here. The perception changes that you're not alone at all. This could have something to do with the Pisces full moon on Sunday. Whoops. That, that uh, moon cycle from the Pisces new moon to the next new moon. I believe will be in Aries. Rest, relaxation, meditation, uh, coming together with a kindred spirit, someone you want to work with, or a love. And it's divinely guided that you have patience and temperance and faith and work with the divine. I'm bringing this about. This is a beautiful reading. New start, stable home environment, the sun card, divine changing your trajectory that brings you a love or a kindred spirit to work with. Wow, guys, this is a beautiful reading. The sun card centered right on top of wisdom. Or was it, what was it? Yeah, wisdom. I mean, that is a wise person right there. So the card we got out here is time. It's about allowing the divine time to catch up to the dreams that you're creating. 
You are a ray of light beyond time and space. When you choose to focus your attention upon the earth plane, you create a physical body to experience manifestation. Time is a way to measure manifestations, so you can fully appreciate the experience of the physical. In oneness, you are a ray of light. Awaken to your fullness, no longer limited by the perception that you are in dense form only. You are light immersed into creation free to move through all planes and existence to a stillness of no time. Close your eyes and be fully present. Feed yourself in no time. Sorry, feel yourself in no time. <laughs> One moment flowing to the next a chain, a link that contains all you need to move you to the next moment. Time becomes flexible. It pulses, collapses and expands and all occurs simultaneously. In this elastic state, new concept ideas, inventions. I just had the idea that time itself breathes. Isn't that interesting? Open your heart and feel. From the moment, no from this moment, no longer will you make fear. Instead, you will make love, and time will incrementally show you the manifestations of that love. That is so beautiful. Even time breathes, like just how they say it pulses, collapses, and expands, and all occurs simultaneously, just like, you know, we do, just like breathing, our bodies, everything, all happens simultaneously at the same time. So nothing is something you have to wait to start. It's already started. It's all here. It's just a matter of it coming together in absolute divine timing. Yep. That's exactly what that's about. I hope this message resonates for you guys. I love you. I'll talk to you again soon.